So, you're moving from Texas to Salem, Oregon. In this video, I'm going to talk about everything that you need to know about the main differences between Texas and Salem. My name is Clarity Odd and I'm a local real estate broker here in Salem who specializes in relocations. Just like you, I relocated to Salem and now I get to make these videos all about this amazing city so that you can discover it for yourself. If you want to work with us in the home buying process, go down to the description of this video where you're going to find all of our contact information reach out so that we can help you. If you're relocating from Texas to Salem, these are gonna be some things that you might need to be mindful of. I myself relocated to Salem, Oregon five years ago with my husband, and while we didn't relocate from Texas, I have plenty of YouTube clients who are doing exactly that. These are some things that they've told me about Salem that they wish they knew before they moved here. I am first jumping into a hot topic right now and probably something that under normal circumstances I wouldn't ever talk about and that's politics. I do want to bring this up because it is one of the biggest differences between Texas and Salem. As you can see here, Marion County, which is the county that Salem is in, is pretty evenly dispersed when it comes to political views. And in this last presidential election, Oregon was more heavily Democratic than it was Republican. Here in Salem, you can see that the political landscape was slightly skewed more Democratic, but overall, it was pretty evenly divided. That means when you move to Salem, you are going to have a mixed bag of every type of political view. You. And you should be prepared to have friends and run-ins with people who have different political views than you do. And while people are pretty vocal about their thoughts, I personally also think they're pretty open to discussing other viewpoints. Salem is the state capital of Oregon, so it's important to recognize that we do tend to have more of a political identity than many other cities in Oregon. You're going to see a mixed bag of different types of flags and bumper stickers and viewpoints all throughout every section of Salem. The next item on our list is that you need to be mindful of the overall cost of living in Oregon versus Texas. As you can see here in this photo, generally speaking, it's about 10% more expensive to live in Oregon than it is in Texas. I think the easiest place to see these differences in the cost of living really does come down to the price of real estate in Texas versus Salem. At the time that this video was filmed, the median sales price for a single family detached home in Salem was at $450,000. Property taxes tend to be around 1%, and while that does vary so much depending on the specific house and the county and all these other factors, you can generally assume that your property taxes are gonna be around 1% in Salem. Now, I know that in some parts of Texas, your property taxes are astronomical. This is especially true for the first person who moves into a new construction home in a master planned community in Texas. I know that you guys have to pay those bonds off and those bonds can be pretty big, which means that you as the new homeowner are gonna have massive property taxes. When we start home shopping here in Salem, you can always ask me what the estimated property taxes are for the previous homeowners, and I can give you a rough estimate about what the previous homeowners paid. You're probably gonna be very surprised and in a happy way. At the time that this video was filmed, gas prices were just over $4 per gallon, and in Texas, they were just under $3 per gallon. Overall, you can expect to pay much more for gasoline when you fill up your car, so you should expect to have a little bit of sticker shock the first time you fill up your car here in Oregon. And fun fact, we used to not have to pump our gas here. We would always have gas attendants, and actually that law, which has been here forever, has changed. So now you can pump your own gas here in Oregon, or you can pull into the gas station where the attendants will still help you. It's nice to have the option actually. 
because when it comes to be the winter time and it's raining and you have to get out to pump your own gas, you're not gonna want to and you're gonna be very happy about the attendants hanging around and pumping your gas for you. Oregon does not have any sales tax, which means no matter if you're paying for groceries or a service or you're out at a restaurant, what you see on that price tag is what you're gonna pay at the register. Oregon does have an income tax and depending on your income level, you're gonna be taxed anywhere between five-ish to nine-ish percent. If you're liking this video so far, give it a thumbs up and go down to the comments and tell me what you're looking forward to most about your new life in Salem. All right, let's talk about the weather. Generally speaking, Salem has a much more temperate climate and mild summers compared to Texas. We don't have super hot summers like you guys do in Texas, but you can expect there are going to be a few days in the summertime where it does get over 100 degrees. Those days are rare, generally speaking, but we are having hotter and hotter summers here in Salem. But when we're comparing the summers to Salem and Texas, you really aren't going to have to worry about long stretches of intense heat here in Salem. Because we don't have super hot summers, you can expect that a lot of properties here in Salem do not have central AC. New construction homes do come with the optional upgrade of AC units, but if you're really accustomed to having central air in your home, you do need to be mindful that not all homes here in Salem have that central AC system. The summers here last from about June until mid-September, and that also coincides with the end of the school year here. In the fall time, you can expect the leaves are falling from the tree and the weather is going to get a bit colder and hover around 40 to 50-ish degrees. The winter time starts from about November November and lasts until around the end of February. During the winter time, you can expect gray skies and colder weather that typically hovers around 30 to 40-ish degrees. Just like the weather seasons, we also have sun seasons here, which means in the winter time, the shortest day of the year is going to have the sun setting at 4.30 p.m. Now, if you're curious how I personally survive the rainy, cold winters here in Salem, you're gonna wanna check out the video that I made all about how I survived the winters. You can find a link to that video in the description of this video. So after you're watching this one, make sure to check that one out next. The springtime here runs from around March until May-ish. During the springtime, you can expect that the flowers and the trees are coming back into bloom and the leaves are coming back and the sun is coming back, which means that we're starting to get longer days. The spring here is typically still a bit chilly in the morning times, and you can expect temperatures anywhere from around 50 to 70-ish degrees. The next thing that you need to be mindful of is that even though it can get cold and rainy and a bit depressing here, everyone is very accustomed to being out and about in nature. Living a healthy and active lifestyle is pretty common for the people of Oregon, and people really do pay attention to what they eat and how much activity and exercise they're getting. Oregonians love to be outside and surrounded by nature and thankfully we have a lot of access to nature here in Salem. Salem is just about an hour and a half away from the Oregon coast, which is the Pacific Ocean. We're about 45 minutes south of Portland. We're about two hours from the closest mountain and Eastern Oregon, which is pretty much just a hot desert, is very accessible too. There is just so much nature here. You really do feel like you're in a Pacific wonderland. If you enjoyed this video, you are gonna wanna watch this one next. Bye friends.